Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you everything I have learned along my sublimation tumbler and mug making journey. For the past 10 months, I have been practicing and experimenting with different methods to get the best results when working with sublimation tumbler wraps. I'm excited to finally be sharing this tutorial with you. These clips were actually from earlier this year in January when I first unboxed it. I hope you find this video helpful whether you already have a tumbler press and don't know where to start or you're considering adding a press to your collection in the future. The machine I have been working with is a Heat Press Nation Signature Series 2-in-1 Sublimation Mug and Tumbler Press. As you can see, it came very well packaged. The design of this press itself is very sleek with the black and white contrast. On the left side of the control panel is the on and off red switch and the plug. The front part of the control panel is where you will be able to set the heat and time settings depending on the blanks you work with. So here are some of the sublimation blanks you can use with the tumbler press. These are the 20 ounce skinny tumblers. The 20 ounce are a lot shorter than the 30 ounce. Here's the 30 ounce. This is the 20 ounce. There's also some really fun blanks you can work with. These are UV. This one's pretty cool. It changes colors whenever it makes contact with the sun. So once you step outside, it literally changes colors. I'll have everything linked in my bio in case you're interested in trying them out yourself. Since the tumbler press is also a two-in-one machine, I could also use these mugs right here. That's one of my favorite things about it, that I'm not only limited to tumblers, but also I can play around with different mugs. As for the supplies, you will need sublimation paper, heat-resistant tape with a tape dispenser, which is totally optional, but I recommend getting one to help you save time, a lint roller, a small cloth, a paper trimmer or scissors, and lastly, a sublimation printer. I share more details on my converted printer in a previous video if you're interested in learning more about it. Now that you're familiar with all of the supplies you'll need, I'm going to go through the simple process of creating a tumbler wrap. You have the option to create your own custom design from scratch or purchase an already made PNG file from online. I'm going to demonstrate how easy it actually is to make your own using Canva. On the top right corner, click on the purple button where it says create a design, go down to custom size and enter the dimensions of your tumbler. I recommend measuring your own cup beforehand with a measuring tape. Go around the tumbler to determine the width and up and down for the height. For example, I'm going to do 9.3 inches wide by 8.1 inches high for a Subly Craft 20 ounce straight skinny tumbler, but these measurements may be different for the brand you choose to use. From here, you have this blank canvas that you can customize however you would like. You can add as much or as little elements. I'm going to look for a tie-dye background in the elements section. This one right here is perfect. I'm going to add it and set it as my entire background for this wrap by stretching the image on the canvas. You can either choose to upload other images and text or leave it as is. Just have fun during this process and play around with all of the different options available in Canva. I'm choosing to stop here just because I love the pattern by itself. Now to download your completed wrap, click on the share button and download the image as a PNG file with a transparent background. From here, you can just print the designs directly from your desktop since they have already been resized. Load your sublimation printer with sublimation paper and go ahead and press print. Before wrapping your tumbler with the transfer, it's important to prep your blank first. This is how I do it. I remove the plastic cap and wipe down the surface with a polyester cloth and use a lint roller. Now take your transfer and wrap it tightly around the tumbler. Make sure to check the transfer is facing the correct way before taping it down. One side will slightly overlap the other. Once you have it all aligned, go ahead and place a small piece of heat resistant tape to hold your print in place. Then I use more pieces of tape across the seam to secure it. To prevent any ghosting and air bubbles from forming, place the pieces of tape tightly by pressing them on one side of the paper and then pull it and press down again with force. I tape the last piece of the seam towards the top and the bottom of the tumbler. Then I continue to tape around the entire curve of the top and bottom rim. That is just what has worked best for me and I don't get any ghosting when using this taping technique, which is why I would rather use a little bit more tape to get those good results.
Once you're done taping, wrap the tumbler with a piece of butcher paper and secure it with heat resistant tape. This is what your tumbler should look like now. Before turning the heat press on, adjust the pressure with these knobs back here by twisting them in the same direction. You can test the pressure by simply placing your tumbler inside and finding the right pressure point. You just want it to have enough force to clamp it shut. If you look closely, the tumbler attachment now looks a little bit snug around the tumbler. Now that it's good to go, plug in your press and turn on the red power switch located on the side of the control panel. Here in the front, you can set it to the correct temperature and time settings. I'll be setting mine to 360 degrees Fahrenheit for 60 seconds. It only takes a couple of minutes to heat up and it will beep when it's ready. I recommend investing in some heat resistant gloves. They are less than 10 bucks. Just trust me, you will need them because this press gets very hot. First, place the tumbler in the press with the seam turned facing on one side of the attachment and close the clamp to start the timer. Once the 60 seconds are over, we're going to rotate the tumbler where the seam is facing towards the opposite side of the attachment. I'm using the tape from the butcher paper as my guide. When making tumblers, doing two presses ensures the entire tumbler is being pressed evenly. Before you take your tumbler out, have a heat pad or a silicone pad ready to protect your surface from the hot tumblers when you place them down. I repeated the same process with my second cup. Remember to turn off and unplug the heat press right after you're done using it. After letting them cool down for a couple of minutes, unwrap the transfer sheets to reveal your finished tumbler. Look how pretty and vibrant the colors turned out. The seam looks very nice, there's no ghosting, which is always a win. If you noticed earlier, the colors of the transfer sheets were muted when they were printed compared to the original image, but that's just because the sublimation ink is activated with the heat. I hope you enjoyed this video and found the information helpful. Please feel free to let me know in the comments if you have any questions. If you would like more content like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time with a new DIY.